this is Corey Marks, and may the rock be with you. G'day, Corey. How are you, mate? Hey, Troy. I'm good. How are you, man? I'm excellent. Thank you. Thank you for your time this morning. Hey, no problem. Thank you for having me. Actually, or this evening, whatever it is where you are. Yeah, this evening, yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to May the Rock Be With You, Corey. It's a pleasure to talk to someone new. I'm absolutely loving your stuff at the moment, man, so this is going to be fun. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. No worries at all. Now, we are here because your new EP, I Rise, is about to be released. Now, what are your feelings around release time? Uh, this one, I mean, I'm excited. It's always exciting to get new music out, um, especially when it's out, you know, uh, around, especially when it's out around a tour and um, being released globally. It's always exciting. I'm, and uh, I'm always excited for that. Nice. Now, when you go into making the all-important second release on your label, what, if anything, did you learn in making your debut that you've taken into this new EP? Um, I think it's just to continue building, uh, you know, continue writing and um, just try to be uh, the best you can be, as corny as that sounds, to, uh, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, you're making music that uh, people are going to love. And I hope um, everyone loves this new EP. It's definitely more, um, you know, more of the rock roots uh, with me, but um, it's still uh, very exciting. Nice. Was there anything you completely avoided after learning what you did on the first one? You went, oh, we're not doing that this time. Uh, <laughs> no, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. I love working with the Churko boys and, you know, we're, we're kind of writing, writing and recording the songs that we want, uh, and, and, you know, and telling the stories that we want to. So that's, that's always been great. And having a, a, a label like better noise, letting us do that's uh, even better. So we just have fun with it. And, um, yeah, that's it. Nice. Now, chatting to artists who, who wrote and made records during the pandemic, some found it therapeutic, some struggled to write, some thrived. What was your experience with music in that crazy, crazy time? Uh, it's definitely a lot more time and room for writing. Um, obviously, um, you know, more downs and ups uh, given, you know, the whole situation, especially when I, the whole world was literally locked inside their house for, you know, whatever it was, six or eight weeks. Um you know, I think it definitely gave me gave me an opportunity to grow as a writer and uh, definitely taste, test my patience, uh, although I thought it, would, it was tested well enough. Uh, but it's just crazy times, man, but I'm glad we're through it. I'm excited to get back out on the road. I'm excited to get this new music out. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you've always had a very varied string of guests who have played in your releases. Travis Tritt, Mick Mars from Motley Crue, Tyler from Theory. Have you got any special guests on this new EP that you can let us know about? Actually, uh, on this EP, there there is uh, no special guests uh, oh. on it. Um, it's just me, my music, and a, a you know a bit of the heavier side of Corey Marks. Um, but there is a pretty interesting cover uh, that I'm excited uh, to release. It's a, it's a classic, an old classic rock song. Um, I think that everyone, whether they're country, or they're rock, or if you've just been around this on this planet for the last uh, forty years, you've probably heard it. And it's a cover of Jet Airliner by a Steve Miller Band, and uh, yeah. That that's that was a really fun song to record, and I'm I'm really thankful Kevin had that idea to put that forward. And you know, it's a song about jets and 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 being a musician and traveling. So being a private pilot myself, it's kind of a you know um, two two birds with one stone. So I'm excited to get that one out. Yeah, when I listened to the EP, I saw that come up. I went, oh, is it? And it came on. I'm like, it is. Well done. I thought it was a great choice. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, nice. Now, throwing those names around like Travis and Mick Mars and those, it sort of leads into describing your sound perfectly. How long did it take you to get that blend of country and rock just right to what we hear today? Well, I think the the uh, the main ingredient to that is is, is Kevin Kevin and Kane Churko, and um, you know, obviously with their incredible rock background, uh, but um, especially Kevin being, you know, uh, rooted in the country uh, world too. Um, you know, they really brought the rock out of me, uh, mm. and especially even in the writing. This EP is, you know, some of these songs are the first real official, you know, rock songs that I've that I've written. So it's kind of a bit of a different angle, different take, but it's it's still fun. And again, uh, just thrilled to be working with them, and um, I think I think you know they're the reason for this this new sound. I've always wanted, uh, you know, I've always had an edgier side, uh, but they definitely just bring it to a whole other level. Nice, it really works. Now, EPs are always somewhat of a teaser, if you like. Is there any news? Are you working on an album or something you want to throw our way? Um, I mean, like this, you know, typically some EPs are only, you know, 
three or four songs. This one is is six, and I'm thankful mm. that uh, you know it's roughly half a record. Um, there will be no new uh, new music uh, coming out uh, early in 2023. We're just working on some finalizing some things, but uh, it's going to be very exciting. There'll be more music out in the new year, but um, this these these six songs, I'm hoping everyone's going to love. Yeah, definitely, and obviously that's what we're talking about. But I Rise is such a, a great name for it, if you like, and almost like a great term. What's the meaning behind I Rise? Is that something specific for you? It's you know, it's kind of um, song itself. Anyways, for me, is a little more a little uplifting. Um, but I think it's definitely uh, you know, it, it helps me. But I, I'm hoping it helps anybody else out there who needs it. Um, again, just during this pandemic. Um, you know, and and at, at another time before the pandemic, I was just about to head out on this this tour with Breaking Benjamin. So, um, after a long wait, I was finally going to be able to get out there and have had a global hit with Outlaws and Outsiders, and everything came to a halt. So, once we were writing more more songs for this next project, um, that's one that stuck with me, and I think it's uh, it's pretty. You know, it's kind of uh, it's not too too heavy, but it's not too soft either. It's just kind of a pretty good statement there, right on the title. I rise and it's kind of uh, a bit of a, you know, pick yourself back up, uh, you know, when you're, when you're down and, um, and if you need, if you need some music to help you with that, well, check out the CP. Yeah. I think we all do at the moment and thank you for putting something out like that. Cause we all sort of need that uplift at the moment. Absolutely. And I think, you know, that's exactly uh, that song personally for me is, um, you know, it's kind of, kind of speaks to me that way. Uh, you know, as you know, the music industry isn't always the easiest and uh, it's definitely a roller coaster, just like in life and anything else. There's ups and there's downs, but sometimes those uh, those downs are, are pretty steep. So you got to rise up. Yeah, certainly. Now, I wanted to ask about the Retaliators because, man, that was a lot of fun. Now, what was it like, <laughs> firstly, doing the song for the film, and secondly, getting a call up to be in it? It was it was really exciting. I remember that day shooting in Vegas. This was February of twenty twenty one, I believe, and. Um, you know, playing the role of, as Jimmy, the bartender, um, you know, serving the five finger death punch guys. Uh, it was, you know, it's, it's a small, very small role, but it, it was, it was fun to be part of uh, a movie full of uh, label mates and, and this cast and this storyline. I'm not really a big horror thriller guy myself. Uh, so to be in the movie, um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, I'm not either. I'm more of a chick flick kind of guy, but it was uh, it was still fun watching it and seeing <laughs> all the label mates and you know Jacoby and you know Five Big Death for the Who guys. It was really cool. It was a good fun. Now, oh good, I'm, I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, certainly. Now we've talked about the last two years have been sort of really really crazy for everyone. You said six to eight weeks for you guys. We were locked down for like four months. <laughs> we were sort of inside for a, a long time. What if the whole situation taught you? You'll now maintain throughout your life and career. I think just you know, don't take certain things for granted. Um, you know, things things could just happen, especially like this. Um, it's really like you know, the whole world just kind of turning over and it can happen at any moment's notice. So it's just kind of uh, try to be more in the moment. Uh, don't take things for granted, like your friends and family and, um, and especially live music. And um, that's one thing it's taught me and more than anything, patience, um, you know, cause we've, we've all waited a very long time to get back to uh, whatever this normal world is. Yeah, whatever it is now. Now, even though you're still relatively <laughs> new on the scene, you you had your first album back in 2015 or 16, I think it was, but we've jumped to mm -hmm. the better noise stuff. It can be very easy to say what can change over time. What for you is the one thing that's always remained the same, though, in the time you've been doing music? I think what's remained the same for me is just always trying to push a little harder um, and just being different and not really following... Um, you know, I guess you could say like what's hot and what's not type thing, you know, just kind of going out and trying to be as uh, unique in a way as possible and, and create something or write something a little different than what, you know, the, what you're always hearing and just trying to be outside the box. I've always tried to do that. Just give uh, the, the fans, the listeners, um, you know, something different, um, whether that's a little edgier or sometimes, uh, you know, a little softer, like a song like Out in the Rain with Lizzie Hale. Mm. Um you know, it's just just to keep doing something different um, and keep doing what we want to do and the way we want to do them as as much and as long as we can. Yeah, fair enough. Now, touring wise, you're about to go out, or I think you're out now. I have to ask though, any plans to come down and see us down here? Uh, there was uh, prior to COVID, 
Um, so that, that breaks my heart, but, uh, I'm really hoping at 2023, uh, you know, gets me across that pond, uh, to come see you guys. Cause I've, I've always wanted to, to, uh, to get over there and, 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 uh, and, and perform for you guys and spend some time over there. Yeah. It'd be nice. Who are you at with at the moment? I'm out across the U S with the Brantley Gilbert and five finger death punch. Um, and I'm, I'm actually even tomorrow. Um, we head out for Nashville on the bus for uh, three days of rehearsals and then, um, our first show is November 9th in Michigan. Excellent. That would be a whole lot of fun. I was just in the States. So I wish I could have been around to see it. That would have been awesome to see that. Yeah. But next yeah, time, we'll would have been great. Yeah. Now, lastly, what I do with everyone, Corey, is I get you to look ahead to the future for me. So I want you to finish this sentence for me. In 2023, Corey Marks will. Uh, ooh, that's a good one. There's a lot. Uh, how, mu- how much room do I got here? <laughs> <That's a lot. laughs> uh, you know, uh, in 2023, Corey Marks will uh, have uh, both a rock radio and a country radio hit uh, in the U.S. Um, and hopefully a lot more touring um, and, a, and a lot more streams and and some touring over where you guys at. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what we want. We'll figure that yes. out. We'll speak to yeah. the label down here. We'll get it sorted. We'll get you out. Absolutely. That that would be amazing. I, I, I've really wanted to make my way out there for a long time, so this would be great. Excellent. We have a thing called CMC Rocks, which is a, basically a country rock festival, so you'd be perfect for that. I, I agree. I would love <laughs> I would love to play that. Corey, thank you so much for your time, man. The EP is great. I can't wait for people to hear it. Thanks, man. Thank no you really very much. I really I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in Australia in 2023. Hell yeah, brother. Appreciate Thanks, it, man. Thank Talk you. to you after.